Hi, this is Mark Minson with Mathnasium of Draper, Utah. We're going to talk about the partial differences subtraction method today. If I am going to subtract 385 minus 197, I have 300 and I'm going to subtract 100. That gives me 200. And that's a plus 200 because my top number is larger than my smaller number. And now if I go to my tens, I've got 80 minus 90. Well, my bottom number is bigger, but I still need to subtract the bigger from the smaller. So I subtract 90 minus 80, which equals 10. But since my bottom number is bigger, I'm going to make that a minus 10. And finally, I've got 5 minus 7. Again, the 7 is larger, so I'm going to put that first. But remembering that my bottom number is larger, 7 minus 5 is 2. I bring my 2 down here, but again, it's a minus. So if I take 200 and I subtract 10, I've got 190. If I take 190 and subtract 2, I've got 188. That is how we use the partial differences subtraction method for subtracting larger numbers. We take each of our place values individually, subtract them, and add the final result together. Thanks for watching. This has been Mark Minson with Mathnasium of Draper, Utah.